Hello, welcome to another session on comparing quantities. This being completely the last part um, of uh, whatever we have learned. This is mostly application or extension of uh, compound interest formula into um, finding out the increase in population or even depreciation. And see, we can uh, we have uh, various types of question uh, uh, based on this population increase and thereby application of different formula. I'm not noting down the formula directly. Um, we take up questions and accordingly I will you know explain the formula. So I write the first question. See, one can be a direct, di sorry, a direct question wherein. You are given a formula, sorry, you are given a population of a certain town and the rate of increase per annum uh, 5% is given and after a certain number of years, you have to find the new population or uh, population after increase of it. So, thereby you can apply the compound interest formula and find the number of people or the population after a certain year applying the rate given. Otherwise, I mean, apart from that, being this being a very direct application, uh, you can get questions like the one I'm telling you. This is where the rate of growth in various years are different. Okay, the population of a town was one lakh. 60,000 three years ago if it had increased by 3% secondly is 2.5% and 5% in the last three years find the present population of the town. In this case the formula which we generally apply will be I write it down here it becomes principal P, the base population plus increase every year. So, the first year rate, suppose I am taking as R1 by 100. And then there is another increase that is R2 by 100. And you also can take R3 in this case, which you have by 100 and so on. As many as years and the number of and the, the various uh, rates that can be. Uh, taken so here in our formula will then be like uh, this stands for one lakh sixty thousand then first rate of increase is given to be three by hundred the second year it is given to be two point five over hundred now the rest of what is only simple arithmetic wherein you have to solve the bracket and find the answer the third part is sorry this is 5 upon 100 so this I am getting as 1 lakh 60 thousand this is 103 by 100 right this is 102.5 by 100 that can also be reduced though And the last one can also again be reduced. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake by making them plus. They are all multiplied. Right? You can solve this, and I did it. And because this two will get cancelled, this will also get cancelled. So I'm getting this as 21. This is 20, though. Mm. And then it is four, 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 five. And this will also get cancelled, so it is five zero point five. Now, if we multiply this, I'm getting one seven seven three six. 
six. Okay. This will be the population after three years. If now this is a case wherein the rates are different for different years. Now I move on to another type of question. See, the, uh, this population question can also be put across as you are calculating the compound interest and finding the principal as well as the rate. Right? I'll just write one more question here. Says the bacteria in a culture grows at 10% in the first year. Sorry, first hour. I'm just writing in short form. Again, this is a decrease. Decreases by another 10% in the second hour and another increase again increases 10 percent in the third hour now if the original count of the bacteria in a sample oh sorry in a sample is 10,000 you need to find the bacteria you need to find the bacteria count at the end of three hours see the same the similar this is a similar question to the one which we did uh, in the uh, previous screen the only difference is as because I'll simply write how to calculate. I'm not doing the whole question actually. See, this is your base, uh, I mean, base count of the bacteria. First, as because there is an increase, you write 1 plus 10 by 100. In the second hour, there is a decrease. So, you can put it as 1 minus 10 by 100. Again, at the end of third year, it is increased by another 10%. And then you solve and that, that will give you the final uh, count of bacteria at the end of three hours. Now, we also will see questions based on depreciation. Okay. Depreciation is what? This is a relative decrease in the value of any asset. I mean, asset means uh, any machinery or any building or so over a period of time. The value decreases, right? So, what you were doing here, they were all increasing, but in depreciation, they generally get, they generally do decrease. See, a direct application will again be like um, a value of a machinery given for, uh, for uh, and the rate of depreciation will be given and you are asked, supposed to find the value of that machinery at the end of uh, some certain number of years. So, that is a direct application you take. Okay, the, there in the formula, the way, see, whatever you were doing in compound interest, it remains same. The way of writing the formula becomes like V0, wherein V0 is the, uh, the value of the original value of the machinery. This into 1 minus, suppose first year there is a decrease of some R1 or if it is increase second year and so on. Same, similar as you did the bacteria question or even the previous question. It's here in the difference only is it is always be a reduction because depreciation means reducing of value of certain asset. Okay, I'll try take up a question here based on this, but not a direct uh, calculation of the value. It says a uh, free the purchased. Oh, sorry, purchased. Oh, okay, purchased. And old, an old scooter for rupees sixteen thousand. If the cost of scooter after two years 
depreciate to rupees one four 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 zero we have to find the rate of depreciation that means this was the v0 and this has become the value after depreciation so it becomes 14440 and then this is 16000 and 1 this is 1 minus r by 100 to the power 2 you simply have to solve this out so it becomes 14440 by 16000 this is equal to 1 minus r by 100 to the power 2 this if i am getting cancelled this is actually 361 by 400 whole square this is 1 minus r by 100 whole square so this getting cancelled so i am getting 361 over 400 is equal to 1 minus r by 100 you simply solve this i'll carry r by 100 to the other side bringing minus 361 over 400 if i cancel it is it getting cancelled oh i made a mistake i cancelled this and i got 400 and then this uh, 361 is no i did some mistake somewhere because this isn't working wait a minute one sec one sec oh i didn't do this is not 361 square this i cancel i made a mistake here writing this 361 now i could see is this is 20 square that is that is 20 square it is 19 19 so it is 19 by 20s whole square so i'm getting 19 by 20 is equal to this again i'll carry r by 100 and this will bring me 19 by 20 that is 1 by wait a minute this is going to be 1 by 20 so r is going to be 100 upon 20 and that's giving me 5 so the rate of depreciation is only 5% for this scooter And this is this actually brings us to the end of um, all what was there in comparing quantities hope you got all the questions you followed them well see you soon bye bye